Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to fix calendar not working issue on your iPhone after iOS 17 update. So guys, the calendar app on your iPhone is one of the best app to manage your everyday life. Whether whether you have a lot of meeting or want to keep that track your event, calendar has all the tools you need and more. Sometimes you may experience the problem of iPhone calendar not working after iOS update, so don't worry, I have got your back. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to fix this calendar app not working issue. First of all, you have to close and reopen the calendar app. Whether the calendar is crashing repeatedly or, uh, or are unable to do search in calendar after iOS 17 update, closing the app and reopening it might get all the gates in place simply close the app and try reopening reopening it again and see if issue solved or not if it is still doesn't work and you're still fixing the same issue then you have to restart your iphone a restart generally fix small temporary glitches that an iphone gets during regular use doing so can get rid of minor ios 17 glitches preventing the calendar app from working properly simply tap on your settings and then scroll down tap on general Again, you scroll down, tap on shutdown, shut down your iPhone, and then restart it after 15 to 20 seconds later. After restarting your iPhone, you are still facing the same issue. Then you have to update the calendar app. It's possible, it's possible calendar is isn't working on your iPhone because you are using an outdated version of the app. App updates often fix bugs and sometimes introduce new features. Since calendar is a native iOS app, it can only be updated by an iOS update. Simply tap on your settings and Go to general, tap on software update and see if there is update available or not. If it's any av available update of iOS, simply update your iPhone to the latest iOS version and see if your calendar app worked or not. If it is still doesn't work and you're still facing the same issue, then you have to try last solution, reset all settings. Simply tap on your transfer or reset iPhone and again tap on reset, tap on reset all settings, enter your passport and try to fix your issue. So guys if this video helps you then make sure to like and subscribe my youtube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching